Oh, that's what I wanted to say about these shows. I think I'm watching too much TV because did you know yesterday I forgot murderers were real? I didn't know that. Like I was like been watching so much TV like Dahmer and Little House. What is this? The Watcher. I'm like, I was just out walking around last night. Like I was going to go get a milkshake and I was like, oh, these are not characters and they're not the if if TV is making me forget that like there's evil afoot, I gotta take a step back and start watching Seinfeld again. Right. Well, you're watching New Girl. Yeah. So palate cleanse with an episode of New Girl before you go into the next murder. Yeah. I'm all about palate cleansing with a comedy. Me too. It's a it's a good chase. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Okay. Welcome back, I guess. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready to talk about everything under the Tuscan sun. Um, <clears throat> can I do like a welcome back, everybody? Yeah. Are you ready for well, me to yeah, do that? Yeah, sorry. Are you thinking of maybe something creative? Or? Not at all. Okay, I'm cool. just like... <laughs> okay, go. <sighs> okay. Hi guys, welcome back to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. It's us again, another, 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 another week, t- another week, another, another pod. pod, two, back to back. We are excited to be back. Um, I'm yes. feeling particularly fresh today. Me too. Now that you mention it, yeah. Um, first off, first off, what? Well, I was just going to mention that it's a few housekeeping notes. Okay. Um, last week we recorded a pretty. Special Epic episode episode of Close Friends, yeah. in which you probably know this. During the main episode, we took a little gummy, a little edible, and which we, moved we forward. Ex- we explored our our bodies. Yeah, it uh, and took our control minds. of our bodies and minds during the Close Friends episode. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. You want to go back through my idea book? <laughs> we can. And yeah, do you want to unpack the Close Friends episode a little for those who didn't see it? And also, in- that will be the only time that's happening, by the way, ever. I don't. For I'm me, like, for I'm me. I'm like pretty cool with it. I actually don't like remember. <laughs> you think it was like a green out for you? No, not so much. Just I like feel like I that wasn't me. Yeah. Here. Out of body. Yeah. Like I, I was running errands during the time that my body was uh-huh. here performing, right? For Mentally, the, for the people, gone. physically. No, yeah. I literally like I can't really unpack it. But we did jump in. I, we had a lot of people that I guess in like, I didn't know we made it that clear, but I guess a lot of people had paused the episode last time and were like, "We're gonna take an edible with you," right? Which I thought That's was a really good funny, yeah. Because it's kind of we like a choose that. choose your own adventure. But everybody right. was like on the same page, yeah. Almost like we were doing our first kind of little cult ceremony that, like everyone kind of just joined in and drank the kool-aid and we've always wanted i'm telling you it's like that. a matter of time before i either accidentally start a cult or accidentally join a cult i'm always signing petitions outside of grocery stores and out, like when i'm walking around oh that's a good quality to have i hope but you know i told i expressed that i would probably have a panic attack if we were ever to take a gummy yeah. and i'm true to my word yeah so there was a gas leak that or we changed the code word is now along, gas leak for used, panic attack. It used to be pineapple express. Yeah, it's gas leak. We changed it. Yeah, um, that felt more right. So yeah, if, if you want to watch that episode, which for me I won't be ever doing again, so this is really your only opportunity. Um, go ahead and subscribe to TMG Studios dot TV dot TV. And you can subscribe for the whole shebang or just the Brooke and Connor tier. I think our tier is six dollars a month. I, yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. I found six dollars genuinely. There's in a the, lot you in can the do dryer, with six dollars. Like last time I did my laundry. Awesome. Yeah. You could subscribe to the Brooklyn Connor tier. Shoot. What? Oh, I wanted to say next time we have a gas leak, we should have an edit that's like, bam, 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 like a bunch of explo- like explosion gas leak, but be- yeah, to distract everyone from, from the fact leak. that it is like a panic attack that's right. ensuing. Right. Um. 
Yeah, good job. Oh yeah, we're working on the close friend story. Um, this is the one that well, for Instagram, it's actually going to be like a physical close friends. We have close friends bonus content, which is on the TMG Studios TV site, and then we also have the close friends actual Instagram story, which we're working on. There was about a billion people that signed up, so we we are moving. A billion, by the way. We are moving forward with manually inputting all all of those usernames. Yeah, and if you want the info on how to join that, you are going to have to subscribe to Close Friends on TMG Studios. Dot TV. Wait. The information on how to subscribe to the Close Friends story is in the bio of the Close Friends episode. Bonus content bonus on content. TMG Studios. Yes. I sent a tweet out that I was typing for like five minutes yesterday, which was a one sentence response to someone about merch. And I started three separate sentences in the one sentence and I reread it. And she was like, I don't, I'm not <laughs> following this, but like, I think your intentions were real. And I was like, I have no idea what I was thinking. But I did think of some good merch. For oh, us. new merch? Yeah. Oh, for us. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Stay tuned for that. And also, we if you guys have any ideas for merch, I'm like super open yeah. to. I'm curious what people want, want or like sayings or and we saw a lot of people comment, where was that? Where are those guys? Oh, on our Facebook group. Yeah, the Facebook group. They had oh, some you wanna, like Yeah, join the Facebook group while you're at it. Brooklyn Connor make a podcast. We had some and shout out to the Facebook group. There was there was a group of girls that hung out. In person or are going to I hang think out? that a lot of people have oh, met each geez. other in different cities, which is gorgeous. Yeah. So hop in there and find a... Find a Facebook group near you on the computer. Um, yeah. Okay. Two more ho- two more housekeeping. Whoa. <laughs> That's a um, lot. We have a highlights Dirty channel house. where you can rewatch clips from the main and bonus episodes if you subscribe to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast Highlights on YouTube. Yep. And last thing, we're doing a Q&A episode we're recording that in two days from now. It will air next week. So um, DM us any questions yeah, that you questions. might have for us. But make them saucy. And by saucy, I mean something we haven't heard before. Yeah. Also, yeah. Cool. For sure. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> Woo! Weekend check-in. How was your weekend, honey? It was good. I went to Catalina on uh, on Friday. Didn't know. I knew I was going. Uh huh. Forgot. I, I recently learned that Catalina Island is a real place and not just in Step Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Thought thought it was fake. No, it's fake it's, SF. No, it's not fake. Uh it's uh super real and it's very accessible. So basically Catalina Island, if you don't live in California, you can see it like for some reason everywhere you go. It's like the Mona Lisa painting, the eyes that follow you. Oh. It's like everywhere I go, I'm like, is that still Catalina? Right. And then I went to it. And I realized, like, the town that you stay in is, like, this little beach town. It looks like Greece. It's, like, you they built it up on a mountain. You That's ride so in. so It's called Avalon. You ride in. We took, like, the, the late ferry in, and then it's, like, a little town. It was it was cool. And we stayed in an Airbnb, slept 10 people in, like, a six-person Airbnb. Airbnbs need to, Airbnb as a company needs to be dismantled. Mm-hmm. They're not doing any, Do you, any promo. Random so, question. Yeah. Do you have access to an account on Airbnb? <laughs> no, I've been banned from the platform, but that's a separate situation. I just have bitterness in my heart towards. I'm going back full, fully hotel. Yeah, because hotel doesn't have me check in with a chores list. No, I, I honestly like. Sorry, like foregoing any sponsorship I may have, and that's completely fine. Never had a positive experience with Airbnb. Yeah. Also, I guess I, I keep getting on these TikTok pages with these people that, like, these dudes on vacation in like Tulum, and it's like a bunch of like bald Andrew Tate characters. And in like different fonts of Andrew Tate. And <clears throat> they're like, I have 130 single family homes that I'm that are on Airbnb. And I'm like, we're due for a market correction like so soon. You better smart sell those to single family units yeah. that can, you know, move into totally. those. Totally. Because I don't think that Airbnb is doing very well. It's hard for me to say. Yeah. They're not. Okay. I looked it up. Good for you. I didn't. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so I <laughs> so we stayed in Airbnb and then we kind of like went to dinner. There's like a little breakfast area mm-hmm. and then like we woke up at like 7 a.m. the next day and like went, jumped in the ocean. It's super clear out there. It was like a gloomy, doomy day and then like hung out, whatever. We went snorkeling. Was the ocean freezing? It was awesome. It was warm for some reason. But you c- actually can't leave. Are there sharks? Yeah. That's what I was saying. So Saturday, um, 
probably shouldn't like drink a little bit and then go snorkeling. But I my my thing I wanted to do was dive out there because right. it's a water super clear because it's rocks and not sand. I love I love clear water. Yeah, if I'm passionate about one thing, clear water. Yeah, so in all the my- ocean. <laughs> yeah, get in line. <laughs> yeah. So we we go to this place. It's like a beach club, and it's like Greece. It's literally what you picture when you would go and like. Ooh. Mm, mm, like partying you know whatever so my friends like all hang out right there and are playing what well, like cards and stuff and drinking and i was like i'm gonna go snorkeling no one's in the water because it's so scary looking out like sharky looking right Ooh. but i convinced one other person to go with me and we go out and the guy working there was like uh like go swim around there's cliffs and like go swim around the cliffs and we <laughs> around the cliffs and then all this like suddenly and all at once we're like it's like 30 feet deep and it's kelp forest i'm like getting chills thinking about it so like the kelp from the ground was coming up to like three feet before so you can't see down but it's like a what, forest what's living in the kelp like you know? sea lions and stuff but like i was like this is the end yeah which is like if you're gonna go out, just eat. Like I was like the 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 uh, what's it called when you're waiting for something to happen? Wait. Stimulation? No, not no, waiting. No, no. Um, suspense was so bad <laughs> that I was almost like, just eat, eat me. me already. Yeah, there's not gonna be sharks living in the kelp forest. You That's where they really? hunt. Because like I'm actually making myself sick to my stomach. Oh, because I look up and we are so far from shore. And then there was the thing, like, I was totally fine, probably because I had drank a little bit, but I, <laughs> I was totally fine. But then, like, when you start thinking and then you start swimming back towards her, I was like, hey, what about if we go back to, sh- what about if we went back to shore? You I'm know? sure like, they what- wouldn't have had you snorkel in that area if there were we active were, sharks. We were not dealing with employee of the month. I'm pretty sure I saw our, like, server take a shot, like, behind that. Hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, First Leaf. Do you like to unwind with our podcast and a nice glass of wine? First Mm -hmm. Leaf makes it simple to discover new wines you'll love. They learn your taste, then deliver quality wines right to your door. Yeah, that's big for me. You ever go to the wine shop? Mm -hmm. Go to try to get a bottle of wine and they're like, what do you want? Yes. (sighs) So just forget about driving to the wine shop. Forget about the label, shopping around for the labels, and forget overspending on bottles because... First Leaf lets you rate each wine you receive with a simple thumbs up or thumbs down, and their experts will send you a personalized selection with new and exciting bottles in every single box. Personally, I like drinking wine, but I never quite know what type of wine to buy at the store. Very true. Yeah. With First Leaf's personalized quids, I said that I like lemonade, caramel frappuccinos, and green olives. And with that, I got six bottles of wine based on those preferences. (laughs) Yeah, That's a good wine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they are experts. Yes. And in fact, First Leaf can recommend you wines you'll love with 96% accuracy. As your tastes evolve, so will the wines you receive. And if you're not completely satisfied with a bottle, First Leaf will credit you for another. That's wine made simple. Sign up today and you'll get your first six bottles for $39.95 plus free shipping. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash B-A-N-D-C. That's T-R-Y-F-I-R-S-T-L-E-A-F dot com slash b a n d c to get your first six bottles for thirty nine ninety five plus free shipping. Try firstleaf dot com slash b a n d c. Well, what did you see while you were snorkeling? Just a ton of cool fish. Whoa. There was one called the Garibaldi <laughs> or N- Garibaldi. That which one? Garibaldi oh, is, is the... a is a character in. I want to say the Princess Diaries, but that's not true. That's Mister Robitussin. You're thinking of the chocolate Ghirardelli. No, I'm thinking of the like, chef Ghirardelli that makes Ghirabaldi. the chocolate. No, Genovia. Know. No. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, there's these fish called Ghirabaldis, and I kept seeing them everywhere, and I was like, those are giant goldfish like that, that for a fact. Like, those are not, and everyone's like, those are koi. Those are koi. They're not koi. They're Ghirabaldis. And Ghirabaldi was a really, there it is. Wow. And the, Ghirabaldi, we, I looked up all the history of this fish because <laughs> they're everywhere, and I'm swimming. They're swimming up to me. Right. They, they're kind of like idiots. Like they, like what if I was a like athletic? A I could catch it and just bite it. If right. I wanted to. Couldn't. couldn't they know catch your. It. They know your heart. They know my heart. At the end of the day, <laughs> yeah. they probably listen to the podcast. Yeah. So I learned that the uh, the Garibaldi male fish can get pregnant. They're like seahorses. Oh, I sea love horse. that. Seahorse eye. Um. Yeah. So really cool fish. 
what was I going to say after that? I think that was it. And then uh, I feel like I had something really important. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and then exciting news that we can only vaguely give a generalization about. We went shopping yesterday, Brooke and I, or Sunday, yeah. Brooke and I, and the team. <clears throat> Well, do with that what you will. No, we can just say we're we are looking for new chairs. We're looking, we're new, for, we're looking for, for new this chairs. set. Yeah, and we um, kept going to these really like gorgeous, nice, bougie furniture store. Yeah, and they kept directing us right right on over to the clearance. And so the clearance was going to go ahead and be a little too pricey for us. So we sat in the furniture store uh, and in shop, the clearance section shop and shopped on, on Wayfair. R- 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 Google reverse image Google. search of the couch that yeah. we want or the chair that we wanted, which was in unbelievably bright. Yeah. Y'all yeah, want to grab these places. Like, you know, chairs can be $3,000. That's crazy. At the end of the day, it's just. Chairs can be more than that. Chairs can be what they what they want to be. Chairs are priced at yeah. the mar- whatever. Know, I guess they know your worth. Know your worth. Yeah. As a chair. As a chair. So, But it was kind of like all these chairs were just like, like at the end of the day, you just sit on a chair, you know, like. No, right. No, you're worth a chair. But is like, a chair is a chair. It's I want a bit like who do you think you are? Right. The three thousand dollar chair is serving the same function as the ten dollar chair. Crack the code. But be on the lookout for some very gorgeous chairs yeah. coming from a reverse Google image search. You know where I never want to go again because I felt like I was in purgatory. The furniture store. Living spaces. <laughs> like it felt yeah. like I was in. And like I, I bought a couch from Living Spaces. I like Living Spaces, but like going into Living Spaces and the way that it's organized, furniture. Well, the furniture store employees kind of appear out of thin air. I wish then, there was like we could put a tag on to let them know somebody's already asked us if we if they could help us with anything. Yeah, because it gets overwhelming. But it was like, almost like that. They it was almost like they were haunting Living Spaces. Like they had died there and they were haunting it because. They kind of just showed up, and then I didn't. I never knew where they went. You just outlaid the plot for the next Ryan Murphy show. They've like a bunch of people have died in living spaces, and they're and just, they can't leave. They can't leave until they help you in the casual single family home section. Well, the worst thing about living spaces to me is the way it's organized. That Jackie, by the way, Jackie, who works at living spaces, Jackie, if you're listening, you're the well hall. done. Yeah, the way it's organized is that upstairs is more like formal living. Yeah. Whereas downstairs is more casual living, but there's not like a huge distinction. And it's like there's chairs on both floors, beds on both floors. Like I would much if I was dead in a furniture store and stuck there for life, I would organize it in a way that's like chairs over here, beds over here. Not casual versus formal because that looks different to everybody. Well, I I do. I agree with you, but I think the rustic section was where it needed to be versus the more laid back casual um studio but wouldn't you rather there just be a whole chair section and there's a rustic section of chairs within the chair section yeah i don't think that that was in jackie's wheelhouse it's something worth emailing to living spaces dot customer service at living spaces the the ghouls that are (laughs) that are housing hey y'all i know that you're you've been through a lot with with being dead and all and and all that that comes with it and you're in the middle before and being in purgatory. But if you could just reorganize. Anyway, we've gone <laughs> too far down a tangent. We've gone too far. Reeling it back. Yeah. So you had a good weekend? Yeah, it was awesome. I like love. <clears throat> I love those little towns. And it was also cool because it was like, it felt like I had left California, which was nice. It was like a good change oh, of scenery. That's very cool. Yeah. I would love to go to Catalina. But one oh, day. this is what I was going to say. So like, we, we go to leave, and I didn't notice this on our way in, but because. Um, I wasn't looking. Oh, that'll happen. I didn't notice because I wasn't looking at the island. But we were leaving the island. We're like facing it. And we sat outside. The island is huge. And the little part, like, I mean, ratio wise, like the island's this big, mm. like as long as my body. And Avalon, the city that we stayed in, would be like the size of my mouth if I open it. And wow. you can't leave the city limits without a permit. And there's like bison. Get this. There's, oh, the bison. There's bison out on this island off the coast of California. And I was like, who brought the bison right. here? How did the bison get here? They didn't swim. I could They're tell big. you how they got there. Yeah, go ahead. Because I Googled it. Yeah. They were left there in the 19... Could have been the 1910s or the 80s. It's hard for me to say. It's probably somewhere in between the two. Um, they were left there during a movie shoot. 
And then they they bred and bred and bred. And bred. they bred and bred and bred. And now they control the bison population by taking some of them off the island into their natural habitat. Well, they let people hunt them now. You get a hunting permit. That's that's bad. Look how cool they look on that beach. That's where we stayed. This beach, but that's now it gorgeous. has it has uh, bulkheads and restaurants and stuff. Wow! But it still is gorgeous. It still looks really good. I I I, I love bison. I would love to see a bison. <laughs> I did see a bison one time. Wow! In I'd love, hopefully, I can go one day. Yeah, yeah. It's really like yeah. I said. It's like so easy to do. Um, but people fly out there and hunt bison and wild boar because the populations are out of That's control. To me, you have to invasive species. You kind of do have to. Well, you can't just take them somewhere else. They, they are. They breed like crazy. So, like boars, you have to. I'll take them in. Okay, wild boars want you dead. Like if I could ask a wild boar, he'd be like, "I'm a I'm fully bro. convinced that if I came into contact with any sort of dangerous animal, have you seen a wild boar? I would say. Can we type in? I would say, wait, wait. I'm not here to hurt you. And they say, "Oh, damn. Okay." No, and no, no. Ride off Wild together. boars are like. Uh, I have no fear of meeting a grizzly bear. I'd just be like, oh my God. Hey. And they, it'd be completely fine. Yeah. So the wild boar would, would maul you to death in like a heartbeat. That's what you think. And he's like the guy that's. He's like a murderer. Like he would be a murderer. Can we type in wild boars West Texas? I just want to show you this thing. <laughs> okay. Look at the size of those things. That's yeah. like a grown man. Look at the size on bottom right of this. That doesn't of this look guy. like it would eat someone. No, but it, do you know what that actually s- does look like? The schools from the Princess Bride. You're, we're really on a ghoul kick. <laughs> I guess it is October today, or it's been October. I guess for several days. Um, yeah. So they, you have to kill these. From what I know, I don't know that much, but I, I guess like they like destroy your land and stuff. If you live in West uh, Texas, I Catalina. choose life, not violence. Yeah, in this instance. Okay. Sorry. No, it's fine. I just I'm letting you know like these animals do want you dead. Yeah. And wild boar well, tastes really good. Agree to disagree. Yeah. Are you bet you're wondering about my weekend, huh? Yeah, I'm. Go- well, we were gonna get there. Yeah. Or once we're done talking about. You being I'm so pro boar, pro you, boar life. My bad. I thought you were done with the boars. No, I'm, I'm, I'm done now. How was your weekend, Mrs. Pac-Man? Um, I, had a, I had a great weekend. Yeah. Well, it started off really strong because our friends Matt and Patricia got engaged. Yes. Matt King, who has been on the podcast. So yep. this this one goes out to them. Congratulations, you two. Um, they got engaged and Matt had planned this really beautiful evening for them at the Beverly Hills Hotel. And I said... You know what? I'll come. <laughs> yeah. That sounds great. And so we went to the Polo Lounge, which is this. Yeah. The Beverly Hills Hotel is like very, very like bougie old Hollywood, like a lot of fun celebrity sightings. And the Polo Lounge in it is just like oh. so, so bougie. That was a lifetime ago. I totally forgot this happened. You keep been? going. Keep going. No, no, no. About your Friday. I forgot that. What? What you're about to okay. say, yeah. Oh, like I yeah. just forgot. I totally oh, yeah. forgot. No, doesn't this it. feel yeah. like so long ago? Yeah. And so we went to the Polo Lounge for some drinks to celebrate Matt and Patricia. Mm-hmm. Cheers to them, mm-hmm. of course. Um, we're waiting outside to get our table, and I see this man that I'm like, oh my god, that is the celebrity, and people are taking pictures with him. And all of a sudden, I realize who I think it is. Long, scraggly brown hair. I go, oh my god, that is Trisha Paytas's husband. <laughs> that is Moses Hackman Paytas, right. the one and only. People are taking pictures with him, and I'm like, wow, like, I can't believe like Trish and Malibu Barbie are inside sipping on a dirty martine. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. There's no denying life is full of challenges, and I know sometimes when I'm faced with the problem, my mindset can become negative and cause a lot of stress. It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life, but when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. Therapy has changed my life. Yeah, I know. Talking with a professional has helped me understand my feelings and learn to cope with them in a healthy manner. Not only does therapy reduce my stress, it also helps me feel more confident in my everyday life. Yes, I've seen that happen in real time. He sure If has. you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. I use BetterHelp. It's super easy. It's all online. You don't even have to like turn on video or anything. 
Um, it's convenient, accessible, affordable, entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time, which I did. <laughs> when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash B-A-N-D-C today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash B-A-N-D-C. And everyone's asking Moses for pictures. And I was about to head up. Turns out, not Moses. Keanu Reeves. And I was like, oh, Easy. damn. Easy <laughs> honestly, honestly, damn. That sucks. But that's like a, that's a big person that's a big like that's physically big, and just yeah celebrity that's a big that's person big. so that was big boy that was cool but i don't like have a huge attachment to kiana so yeah just more of just like okay very cool yeah now walk in and i hear this grating voice oh. and it, it's the singing someone's singing up there's like a you know like a jazzy crooner that usually sings at sure. the polo lounge and there's like a voice accompanying him that's like Ugh. Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Um. That was that was crazy to see. Oh my And apparently, God. I've learned. So Jimmy stood up there just singing, for God knows why, right. for a very long time. He was like blackout, blackout drunk, drunk, which I've heard about Jimmy F. He just like tends to go places, drink a lot, and then kind of usurp the environment. Hey, let's not knock that till we try. <laughs> No, not a bad thing at all. I'm pretty sure Jimmy and I have that in common. (laughs) I know. I really think you and Jimmy would be good friends. But that was to hear. But that was so. I mean, he seemed so nice. He was going around to each table, making himself at home. (laughs) Right. He didn't come to our table. Um. But yeah, he was singing, and that was cool. Yeah, that's awesome. He's one of those people. Yeah. By the way, he's looking more and more dead behind his eyes oh. as the day goes on. Glazed to the nines. Yeah, to the nines. To the nines. Um. So that was just so fascinating, and I. Yeah. I, I, That's like, like the same thing as seeing a wild bison. I posted on my Instagram story and said, "Congrats to the live band." Yeah. And it was just a picture of Jimmy Fallon singing. Yeah, sure. And everyone was like, "Oh my god!" Like so weird that looks like jimmy fallon and i was like that's why i posted it like that's jimmy fallon right but it looked like a wax figure of jimmy fallon i'm telling and, you like he he sickly he's on unfortunately his, yeah um wishing him break. wishing him he the best but an app and then i saw on you know just like once you say something everything is gonna like that's gonna be the only thing on your free page on tiktok my whole free page was just like different Jimmy Fallon sightings, like of him just like blackout drunk singing at different restaurants. So again, globe orb globe into your future. No harm, <laughs> no foul. You know what's funny is like I even told when they when like our team like a long time ago asked us like what we want to do. I was like, you I think I want to like <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I wasn't even talking about the talk show. I was talking about getting drunk in random places. Yeah, no, I mean, as if he's happy just and kidding. healthy. Yeah, he's not. He's, he's not. Want, he's being. He was being I don't so know, nice. We don't know if he's either of those. Yeah, we don't know. At but the end of the day, we don't know. He's still. He he looks like he was, at the end of the day he looked like he was having a blast. That's awesome. So if he's happy and everyone in his life that's affected by him <laughs> immediately is happy, awesome. I never want to be like as famous as he is. I, he because everyone I, was just in his face taking pictures. Flash on. Wait, you can't even take photos at Beverly Hills Hotel. That's like a big thing. I mean, I, I that's, don't. That's why a bunch of people, famous people, go there is because paparazzi can't go to the Beverly Hills Hotel. Well, all the TikToks that I was seeing of Jimmy Fallon, a lot of them were from the Polo Lounge. So interesting. I don't know if that's still a rule. Like the wait staff were doing it as well. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, or like throwing maybe it's because we're not paparazzi. The window. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah. I don't really know. So that was one thing. And then another thing I did this weekend was fully like rebranded my whole personality to sports. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So I there's this sports bar close to my house, Mm -hmm. which is just like the most amazing place on earth. It's like Hogwarts. If I could think of one way to describe this sports bar. You know I love that sports bar. Yeah. It is amazing. And I discovered this weekend that they have a Pac-Man machine. Connor, when I tell you I was at that pac-man machine from 12 p.m to 2 a.m that's gonna go ahead and be 14 14 hours i had the time of my life to not get anywhere near to 
breaking the high were score. But I did it, spend you, fifty dollars. So were you playing it the whole time? I went to an arcade. This yes, weekend. that's so weird. Saturday night in Catalina Island. Yeah, they have Whoa. an arcade. Very cool. Um, you're gonna get carpal tunnel, Missy. I have it. I uh. think. Well, and then I obviously had to order the little Pat Miss Pac Man, Mrs. Sure. Mrs. Pac Man. Yeah. On Amazon, so now I have this like little Game Boy device that I yes, that's my that's game. Fun. That's my gaming device, and it's not. It doesn't. The joystick doesn't ride as smoothly. Right. on the gaming device. Get some WD. Maybe you need a full size m- machine. Well, the good news is that Matt, as an engagement present to me, has a Pac Man machine that's an in between of the little Game Boy device and the one at the bar. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like one that you would keep on a desk, and it oh, has nice. like the little like joystick. Cool. So he's going to give that to me for his engagement. That's nice. Yeah, so hopefully I'll be better at I've that. I've always said, like, you have two incomes. Get me a gift. Me? No, no. When people get married and they're oh. like, here's my registry, it's like, why would I get you a gift? You just signed up for yeah. two two household income. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm coming to your wedding. Like, you get me something. Maybe all the money they're spending on the wedding is really for you. If you look at it that way, I believe it when I see it. Anyway, I've got my. I better, I better go Jimmy Fallon mode at your wedding. Yeah. If, if I'm getting you a toaster. Yeah. I. Oh my god! I know what I'm gonna get everyone for their wedding. Uh, Pac Man. Okay. I, my device is in my fanny pack, and I'm, I'm itching. But it's all about practicing self control. It is kind of like Jimmy. Yeah, and that does take a lot of your focus. Yeah. Eat this. So thing. yes, I think that's Ugh. what my weekend was. I'm training myself to like beer. Okay. One pineapple cider at a time. So it's going badly. Yeah. It tastes like soap. Like that's what I am. Beer is what I imagine people also be... taste when they don't like cilantro. It tastes like soapy water. And not the good kind well, of Johnson & Johnson. Like bad soap. Like antibacterial soap. Is, that sports bar that you're speaking of is not like A1 on cleaning their no, cups. any beer. Any beer. Okay. The beer that we had at the Dodgers game too. Like I'm trying so hard. Oh, mm. yeah. Maybe you have a, a long COVID. No, I thought beer. I do. Yeah. By the way, but I thought beer tasted like soap before I had COVID. I don't know. We'll work on it. Yeah. Palates, I'm trying. Palates change. It's a, yeah. It's about training. Yeah. 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 So, um, palate change, and that's why today's episode is brought to you by First Leaf. <laughs> so true. Thank you, Con. Okay. Um, I. Want to follow up really quickly? Last week you were supposed to get a dog. Yeah. Do you have a dog? I moved forward with not having a dog right now. Can I ask why? Yeah, I was going to pick up this dog, and it was an adoption situation. Um, and <clears throat> I went to go get him, and then I'm on my way there, and like randomly out of nowhere, I'm like, "Well, what about studying abroad?" And like, I'm an adult, so I'm no longer like taking semesters to study abroad uh-huh. because I'm n- I'm not in school. But I'm like, you'll never be able to do this. You'll never be able to do that. And then I started thinking about S- Sonny was his name. A Catahoula, gorgeous Aww, dog. Oh, Sonny. And I'm, he's alive and well. But You don't know that. It, so, okay. So I go, I go to pick him up and I'm like on my way there. And then I start thinking like, this dog's, you know, a year and a half. Like if this dog lives, God forbid, a long, healthy life, I'm going to be almost 40 when he passes and then that sent me into a natural spiral of like holy shit like i can't do this right now um so i went ahead and turned around what's crazy is you're gonna turn 40 regardless of if you had chosen to give sunny a second chance at life or not is this like a are you what is this oh i it's a podcast i called the pound and or the, <laughs> not the pound it was like an it's like shelter and he got adopted that same day so i don't even i would have driven an hour to downey california in yeah in let's see south la and would have gotten there and they would have been like oh sunny's long gone which would have made me bitter towards sunny so it's nice to know that i had made that decision on my own and we kind of just had a mutual agreement to part ways through the stars i don't i would never accuse you of lying at all I don't think you called and asked. He wasn't on the website. <laughs> so he had gotten adopted. So I, I don't, or once something the, else once, horrible happened. Okay, then he. Justice for Sonny. Okay. Like, okay that's fine. <laughs> I agree. I wanted him and then I had a panic attack. Do you think you'll try again? I totally orange M&M'd it on the, on the 405. Ooh, good one. 
Um, Do you think you'll try again? Yeah, I will. Not during holiday season because I'll be traveling and stuff mm-hmm. so much. There's always going to be a holiday season. Okay, I'll do it in what holiday is in January? New Year's. Yeah, I'll do it in January. Your Valentine's Day. You could give me the gift of getting yourself a dog. Okay, I'll do that. No, I'll do it. I'll do it after because I travel a lot in December too. October's been an absolute shit fuck. Yeah. I mean, total shit fuck. Total shit fuck. <laughs> it's been shit fuck city in October. I have not had a second to breathe. Yeah. Besides watching. Besides, I was gonna say. Besides watching every episode of the watch of every show. Yeah. <laughs> and oh Sunny, Sunny would have hated the watcher, so I'm I'm cool with that. Um, Sunny would have hated the watcher. I know. Well, yeah. Also. Yeah. Anyways. I also bitch. I'm drenched in sweat. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it because I was grilling you? Yeah, probably. I've been on the hot seat. Sorry. Hey, guys. We're going to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode. One of my favorite clothing brands, Faraday. Faraday is all about clothing for life's best moments, whether it's a Friday night football game, the first day of school, or hanging with the family in your backyard this fall. Founded by twin brothers, Alex and Mike, Faraday was based around their longtime love of the outdoors, from surf and mountains to road trips and beach bonfires. With a passion for craftsmanship and sustainability, every piece is designed to last a lifetime. Plus, if anything does happen to the piece, Faraday will replace or fix your clothes for life, no matter what. Huge. Personally, I love layering pieces like their legend sweater shirt over the sunwash pocket tee to create outfits that are both comfortable and stylish. You just told me that. I literally, <laughs> la- I'm layering my off. Yeah. I'm layering. Totally. All- this is a big season for layering for yes. me. Um, you can find your new favorite fall items at Faraday and experience the legendary comfort. Right now, Faraday is giving all BNC listeners an amazing deal. 20% off on every order. You heard me you get a full 20% off your order. Head to faritybrand.com slash B-A-N-D-C and use code B-A-N-D-C at checkout to get this deal. That's code B-A-N-D-C at Faraday, F-A-H-E-R-T-Y brand.com slash B-N-C for 20% off. Faritybrand.com slash B-N-C. Um, speaking of the watcher, very good. Wait, holy smoke. Thank oh, sorry. Yeah, get... No, 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 no. Oh. I, I have a note page. I, oh. I didn't want to forget because I wrote all my all my notes down. I wonder if you were sweating because you were wearing a, like, a full fleece jacket in oh, 90 yeah. degrees. Oh, my God. Wait, let's start And there. Uggs. <laughs> <laughs> I built my outfit today around my new Uggs that came in. And I'm getting ripped to shit fuck about the fact that I have knockoff Uggs. First of all, they're half the price. Right. They're called Bear Paw. They're the exact same thing, if not more industrial. So th- you guys need to get yeah. a grip. I'm getting ripped to shreds in the DMs. But first of all, I like my bear paws. I like your bear paws. They're pod. brand new. I got them when I was Jimmy Fallon this weekend. Total Jimmy Fallon mode. They showed up at my house. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes like you treat your, like not even treat. Hang on. Where was I going with this? Oh, keeps happening to me where i don't put my earphones in the whole episode and then i'm like oh so have you not been able to hear me no it's like i don't here. no offense to podcast but like i don't get like the earphone piece because it's like i can hear you you're right next to me so it's like why do i need oh actually i get it uh, yeah I, well now listen to me yeah you're, you're okay. i mean your voice is incredible thanks i've like, heard that it's kind of like, relaxing like butter thanks um so is mine yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay like just let me know you need it like a little bell so that when you want me to reciprocate a compliment, I'm doing better just saying thank you instead of like shirking it off and being like, Oh, I no. wasn't even looking for a compliment. I was making fun of my voice, which no, I think buttery. sounds more and more like Janice from Friends every day. Oh, you just, you really set yourself up. You're going to, people are going to have a lot to say. Don't you think we're so Janice and Chandler? <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh my God, like Ross and Rachel. Oh my God. Chandler Mana. No. Janice and Chandler right here. Holy smokes. Give it up. Give it up for Janice for and Chandler. For JNC. Um, okay. So JNC make a P. <laughs> um, okay. So. What huh. were you saying? I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you. Bear paw. Bear paw. I bear paws. Bear paw. So I'm kind of getting ripped to shreds. And then uh, Harry Hill. Are you familiar with Harry? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So he DM'd me this morning. He was like, I love that you have like the man. Uggs. And I was like, first of all, they're $60. Oh, speaking of that, I just want to 
applaud you you had a very funny tweet that reminded me of, of like they should make a glass of wine for men for boys <laughs> for boys that was funny and that just reminded me of that thanks Sorry. Uh, well like Continue. i just love this i there is a level of like hyper masculinity and branding that i hope never goes away because it is so fucking funny like uh you guys enjoy your uggs i got my bear paws <laughs> i got my Arr. like what i'm still fucking wearing uggs with that are fur you're lined. still wearing <laughs> sherpa lines it's not like they have like yeah wolverine paws right. that are retractable in case i get in a fight maybe they like, should <laughs> you, you think someone first of all someone is gonna beat the fuck out of me on the, the shit fuck out of me on the street for wearing these yeah i'm not gonna fight back i'm gonna <laughs> lay down and pretend like i'm dead my bear paws are not gonna help me in that situation i could have uggs or bear paws on but but like the like mas- the the brands that are like so masculine like dude wipes. Oh, I use dude wipes by the way. <laughs> <laughs> You're the exception. <laughs> but like you know, dude wipes were invented because baby wipes were too gentle on the ass. Too gentle. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. dude wipes. Unless they're sandpaper, like, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> like, they're baby wipes. No, wipe. I would love to do, like, an in-depth comparison of a dude wipe versus just, like, another wet wipe. Well, I love how, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the same. I've done both. But I, it's, I like how women's stuff is always, like, summer breeze. And men's stuff is always, like, axe murderer. I can't think of one. Like, I use all men's products. Dude wipes, washing my whole body with dude wipes. Razor. Men's five blade, extra sharp, deodorant, Old Spice. <laughs> Old Spice. I also wear Old Spice. Oh, the Old Spice ones are really fun. They know that they're making fun of, which I like. They're like pure sport. It's like what sport? It's just like I like it. Just the feminine ones just like don't work. Like I was started I using Berry Teen Spirit in third grade, and my teacher was like, "No, you need something stronger, my eyes, or you yeah. can't come." Back into this classroom. <laughs> put you in a <laughs> or bubble. Or you can't come back at the end. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, that's all I had to say. But I was just like, I, I couldn't believe that I'm getting ripped to shreds for the knockoff Uggs. It's like, what's the funny piece Uggs, about you Uggs, ordering Uggs, Con? Uggs are like Kleenex. Like, not every brand is Kleenex, but I'm going to call all and Germex. Like, the, uh, the, this is a brand who won and who cornered the market and now gets to price their stuff double as expensive as yeah. the standard boot. Connor yesterday texted me this gorgeous image of him and his bear paws. Don't show, <laughs> don't show people that. <laughs> and like, like I don't I'm know why to me, I, I was like, he's I like I, I know he's not wearing it, anything else besides those bear it's paws. It's a live photo. Click it. I am breathing really hard from putting him <laughs> on, but I have okay. I have shorts on. In that. Okay, I don't know why you think. <laughs> I have yeah, no, I know. It's what just if like, I forgot? I don't know why it, fully my penis. <laughs> it creates the illusion of. You being naked and yeah, bear it was, paws. It's, it was it was freaking me out a little bit too. Looking at it, I was like, ugh, like that would be such. I don't know if like you can make merch like this, but just like a like a like outline of just like you and nothing but your bear paws, but not just like Kendall, you know, like a like a like cartoon. My... No, you don't need to tuck or anything. Just Wiener? like nothing there, just like a or like an out a stick figure with bear paws. Okay, basically, just something to think about. But anyway. Oh, when you texted me that gorgeous image, I have been like hoarding packages that I've just not opened. I don't know what is in any of them. There's like, they're piled to the sky. And I was like, I know at one point I've ordered myself Uggs in one of them. And so when you sent me your bear paws, I like was like, this one's shaped like shoebox Uggs. (laughs) You know what I did when I I was going Jimmy Jimmy Fallon mode? Jay Fallon? What? When I was going JF mode on, on Friday night. Fully blacked out on mm-hmm. Catalina Island. I was having so much fun. That's fun. I'll show you a picture of me in the go-go dancer's <laughs> cage, holding a beer bottle with my mouth, going, oh, 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 and then dropping it so low. It was like incredible. But um, I, at some point that night, went on an Amazon, Amazon shopping spree. Amazon shopping, shopping spree. And... I received all my packages, same sort of thing. And I was like, what in the world is this? And I get this thing and it's, I open it and it looks like a vape pen. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what, what, what is this? And I'm like, it's all in Chinese. And there's no, there's, it's just all these attachments and like the, the, the vape pen, like fuselage. And then good word. Where you, thanks. I love the word fuselage. It's in my words. I like, no. Fuselage always reminds me of the hollowed out plane that I threw up on. Tyler Cameron in. Oh yeah. That was funny. <laughs> and Dale Moss. Yeah. Um, so 
I'm like, can't I'm like putting it in my mouth, and I'm like, is it? <laughs> did I order like a, a huff, weed pen? Huff. It looks like a weed pen. And then fi- I, I'm scrolling through this thing, and there's a QR code, and I scan the QR code, and it's an, it's it's an, oroscopic ear cleaning pen <laughs> that you put in your ear and as a camera and you can like so i had a blast when yeah. i got home i that, would love do you feel comfortable sharing that with me i don't know or i'd at least like to watch you do it yeah there's different attachments maybe you can have a dedicated uh, maybe you could have yeah but it is fully a ca- in the camera who knows where cameras are at this point <laughs> in 2022 because i was like there's no effing way there's a camera in this little vape pen that is crazy. Like, n- totally fine. Tell me how, when security cameras are like, we're looking for this subspe- suspect and it's one pixel, tell me how this this pin showed me a world beyond imagination inside my ear canal. I can't tell you. It that. was literally like Horton hears a who inside my ear, like fully uh, could could harbor life. Do they take... How are you seeing what's in your ear? Does it connect it's to your app. phone? That's what the app was. Do you have screenshots? No, but it does allow you to take fully videos. Like, I can make a TikTok with my <laughs> pen. I would love just a personal What if video? I filmed a full-on like, <laughs> TikTok dance on my orthopedic ear cleaning That pen. would be really funny. I should do I it. I think you should. I'm telling you, it's like it's almost 4K quality, and it's 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 smaller than this little thing. It's like the size of a mechanical pencil. That's very cool. The best thing I ordered in my recent ordering spree of the packages I've opened is a bedazzled pill holder. Just, Just like to, sequins yeah. Sunday Sunday through to Saturday. So I don't forget to take my, you know, my I'm worry having pills. a panic attack. My worry pills. I'm an orange m M&M and I'm so scared. I'm so scared, little girl. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Well, good. That's fun to just spice things yeah. up. It's always, like I said, someone, someone, a lot of people liked that switch it up advice. Yeah, it was good um, advice. Thanks. I have a new switch it up challenge. No, I don't. I don't know what I was going to say. Take a shower. If you shower in the morning, try showering at night and vice versa. I think that's a fun. I see you have a notes app up ready to go. Yep, I do. Because okay. <clears throat> I started and finished The Watcher on Netflix. I'm not going to give any spoilers. I I'm did not, too I'm yesterday. Not, Start to you? finish. Whoa, holy yeah. smokes. Okay, I'm not going to give. I'm just going to say this. Obsessed Very with good. when a cast is n- almost no one I know besides like maybe one or two supporting roles. I don't know any of the. I oh, oh that's, I think that's unique to you, Connor. Okay, cool. Because they're some pretty big names. <laughs> I, 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 I know Naomi Watts' name. But She's in everything. Oh. By the way, really quick aside. Do you, uh-huh. Sorry. Do you mind if I give a quick aside? I thought she was Nicole Kidman's like cousin or something. No. She's in that movie. Well, she's she's in a lot. But most importantly, she's in this movie called Adore. Yeah. Have you seen that? No. It was like huge on Netflix a few years ago. It's about, it's Naomi Watts and Robin Wright, who she's in, I think she's in House of Cards, but she's also like the princess and uh, princess bride. And they are best friends, and they have these two I love gorgeous, Bride. yeah, incredible movie. movie, incredible movie. I, I love Mandy Patinkin. Um, yeah, they're these two best friends, and they have these two like gorgeous twenty-year-old sons, or like they're they start off in their teens and then age, and they they are best friends, and they start, and the sons are best friends, and they start fucking each other's sons. Yes, I've seen this, or I've heard of it. It go watch that movie. Okay, it is. Like it's such a such a spectacle to behold. Anyway, that's okay. what I know Naomi from. And then Bobby Catatapi, Cav- oh no, whatever, I'm phenomenal. <laughs> he's incredible. He's yeah. in. Every, he's one of those people that's in everything, but also in in, in nothing. In, he's in everything, but it's like you don't necessarily like know his name until now. Here's the thing: I have a lot of thoughts. and Jennifer Coolidge, of course. I'm gonna read the synopsis of this small little thing. A family moves into their dream home only to be plagued by ominous letters, strange neighbors, and sinister threats. The worst part about this show is that it's based on a true story and I live alone. That was the worst part for me. Because I was like, but it wasn't scary. So if you're wondering if it's scary. it's creepy. Next week, it's it's only scary because it's based on a real story. And Ryan Murphy couldn't do some absurd shit with it because it's real. No, it's so loosely like i looked up the real story oh. it could not be more loose they didn't even move into the house in the real version they got one letter and we're like nope we're not moving in yeah N- so nothing in the house which is so ryan theory. ryan murphy did take and say let me just go ahead and go ahead. Ho- horror movie this it's always 
It's always the white people that decide to do something really fucking dumb when creepy stuff happens. And it's always the... Let me go... What is that noise? Let me go into the basement and check. No. Go get a hotel and then pipe bomb your basement if you hear a noise mm-hmm. down there. Whatever it is. Or secret, move. Secret tunnel? Move. Se- move. Yeah, move. move. Don't, well, don't move in. I'm saying like, if you're going to move in, if you're going to go check what the noise is, bring a gun. And it's always the dad who gets like really obsessed and then ends up yeah. like, the, the wife is like, stop becoming so obsessed. And the dad is like, I can't. Here's my favorite part of this movie. My favorite type of shows or movies are when the characters at the opening are lively and chipper and you watch them burn out like little cigarettes That's throughout every, the show. every horror movie. Yeah. What else, what else did I dis- describe it as? Absolutely demolished by the plot line, drained by the situation, <laughs> falling apart like an old rotten paper straw, starting out so full of life and looking almost dead by episode four. That is my favorite type of character development. I, th- I want them to be absolutely... Mr. Krabs draining those jellyfish in that factory mm-hmm. drained. Connor, that's almost, I think you just described every horror movie, so I would encourage you to explore that genre. A lot of questions were left unanswered, Good and course. I'm not going to ask them because I'm going to give everybody a week to watch. Okay, and we can Because normal people, normal people probably can't finish this entire show. I will say something I learned. Mia Farrow is one of the main girls in it. The- she was in Harry Potter, right? No, no, no. She's the like creepy one with the braids that live next door. I didn't realize she's like she was Woody Allen's ex wife and muse, and that's whose daughter Woody Allen is currently married to. Like that whole situation. Weird is her. She should be the muse for. And I never like, put a face to that name until now. Okay. So scary. That's the horror movie. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, another thing. Wow, where does the time go when you're having fun? I don't know. We've been having a blast today, but we actually have not. I'd like to, to open our collective notes app that we have because we both had like a pretty hard time deciphering what we put in our notes app. I want to talk about James Corden really quick while, oh, before we do that. Totally. I think that that's like a, a good one as it develops. Let's go, let's talk about let's it. Talk let's about talk it. about it. Let's jump in. Okay. Let's dive in. Yeah. Um, James Corden, if you didn't hear. <clears throat> was yesterday exposed, quote unquote, by the owner of this restaurant in Soho in New York City, Balthazar. Yeah. Have um, you ever been there? Yeah, I have. I sat next to uh, Joe Jonas when I was there. Wow. And that was like seeing dolphins in the wild. It was like like sitting next to Joe Jonas. I was like, I didn't realize you were real. Oh, that's what I wanted to say about these shows. I think I'm watching too much TV because did you know yesterday I forgot murderers were real? I didn't know that. Like, I was, like, been watching so much TV, like, Dahmer and Little House, what is this? The Watcher. I'm, like, I was just out walking around last night, like, I was going to go get a milkshake, and I was, like, oh, these are not characters, and they're not, the if if TV is making me forget that, like, there's evil afoot, I got to take a step back and start watching Seinfeld again. Right. Well, you're watching New Girl. Yeah. So, palate comes with an episode of New Girl before you go into the next murder. Yeah. I'm all about palate cleansing with a comedy. Me too. It's a it's a good chase. Yeah. Anyways, TV host James Corden is briefly banned from New York City restaurant over abusive behavior. Okay, so this guy Keith, he owns Balthazar, which <clears throat> is like a. I've been. I thought it was really good, but apparently, when I posted a tweet recently that said, "Hey guys, I'm looking for recommendations for a shitty but expensive restaurant to recommend to an enemy." any recommendations everyone was like balthazar because oh. it's like douchey and expensive and apparently not that good i really enjoyed my meal and thought it was cool the what'd you get to eat i got something absurd i either got ox i think i got oxtail or something whoa and it was really you're good. very adventurous when you eat yeah I'm, uh, that's recent though anyways so um let's see so basically this guy is just like he was really abusive to the wait staff yeah he said some absurd shit he's I got really hung up on the fact that his wife had ordered just egg yolk and not egg white for her meal. And that was, it didn't, it yeah. came out with a little bit, a of, little bit of egg, egg white. white in it. Yeah. And that was the end for James. At the end well, of she life, should obviously go to, you think she go to jail, jail for she deserves ordering jail egg most yolk. in this scenario. You think? No, I think the thing is I already like, wasn't like the biggest James Gordon fan. I think that made that pretty clear, but I think if you're rude to wait stuff, like you deserve to, jail hell 
I think that's a citizen's arrest. Type you deserve to be spending like, the rest of your life in living spaces in purgatory. You deserve. Yeah, he deserves to go into timeout in like a big way and like think about what he's done because he's a big f- freaking baby. Well, this is like I'm I'm an avid Dumas reader and he's just oh, like he's time just after time after up. time. It's like James Corden is a menace to society. Like, I think if I had to pick the like my understanding of the worst celebrity in Hollywood, it would be James Corden, just based off of what I've heard. James Corden, Miles Teller, Anna Kendrick. Those are like the things I've heard the worst things about. But James, even like more so. Well, like, yeah, he was, he was just like a dick to these people. And then there were other things that have come out now. And like, nothing is, nothing is as bad as being rude to wait. So that's like beyond to me, but there was stuff about him on a plane and this woman comes up with a crying baby and, and he just puts his stuff on and ignores her. And then she's trying to hold the baby and get her stuff out of the top thing. And he's just fully not looking. And the lady's like, Hey, can you hold the fucking baby while I get this stuff out? And it was his wife. And he was fully like trying not like trying to ignore, her. like it wasn't. And everyone around was like, who is this woman with like a screaming baby? Like James Gordon is going to get so mad. He like put on his headphones or whatever. So there's just like a bunch of weird stuff that he like, I just don't understand. Like, it's one thing to be the worst person in the world. It's another thing to just, like, not even try to hide it as a celebrity. Yeah. Like, especially when your persona is, like, fun and goofy. Like, why would you want everybody to know how much you suck? I think I... Oh. So, he gets banned from this restaurant. Yeah. And then... This morning, he gets unbanned from this restaurant. Really? Yes. And that's why Grace Schmidt was outside with a sign that said, this is a historical time, and I saw you oh, like that post. Oh, I didn't get it. So Keith, I just like everything she does. Keith, that's really funny. I know. <laughs> Keith, the, oh, yeah, that was why she was there. She said this oh, is one of the most too good. on it, right? <laughs> she is so, too good. At um, basically, Keith, this guy, said that James had called him. And apologized profusely. Okay, James Corden unbanned from New York City's Balthazar after he apologized profusely, owner says, after calling him the most abusive customer. So this is cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. He, he paid the why is Why is the owner of Balthazar accepting the apology for him being rude to the wait staff? Anyways. Forgiveness? I don't know. He believes in second chances. But if you take a look at this guy Keith's Instagram, it is beyond unhinged, the stuff that he puts on. I think I took screenshots this morning. Um, just the stuff he posts is, let me pull it up so I can stop talking. <laughs> he he posted, oh, here it is. Keith McNally, NYC. So he's just posting screenshots. He posted <laughs> something of just Kate Middleton's face and said, Kate Middleton is 40 today. I'm sure the Duchess is a good person, but she seems boring as hell. <laughs> despite what her battalion of PR people claim is completely without charisma. Just like random stuff. Like that, like he just seems like. That seems a little uh, valid. Yeah, but why? Like, post a picture of like <laughs> the sunset. I don't know. I kind of like the vibe. No, I do too. Actually, now that you say that. Yeah, just like say what say what you're thinking. Yeah, say, it, this is. It just seems like this is his spam account. His Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not. At the end of the day, like you run a company, but this is this restaurant. James Corden just embarrassed the shit out of like yeah. that, what you're gonna we talked about two late night hosts oh yeah if you had to rank your favorite late night hosts to least favorite who would you do it, I love ranking games yeah it would all be fart city for you me. think they're all fart city yeah you love Seth Meyer yeah oh I forgot he's a late night yeah number one beyond yeah like I have all of the rest are below hell for me you think? Yeah. I think Seth as one. I don't Seth hate. Seth doesn't put on any personality for it, you know? Like, yeah, he's, he's just, just a good guy. He's just like a good He's dude. a good conversationalist. Seth Myers. Seth Myers lo- would love to get him on the pod. <laughs> Seth Myers. Seth Myers. You are always welcome on. here. Um, this is a Sel- Seth Myers. This is a Seth Myers stan account. Safe space. <laughs> this is a Seth stan Myers stan account. account. Stan account. Oh, this is I don't know. Speak. OK, so I want to just go straight from straight from this douche wagon straight into Harry Styles. And Je- what is her name? Olivia Wilde. Because Olivia, Olivia Wilde. Uh, wait, so Harry Styles is good friends with 
what's his name? James. James Corden. Yeah, that's a good point. What's up with Harry Styles surrounding himself with like the most bizarre, like that's problematic a- people, and then him not saying a word as if he's Jasper from I the don't Watcher. know why he's surrounding himself with these types of people, but I do think he doesn't say anything. I think he has full on PTSD from One Direction and just being his every move being scrutinized, especially with the whole Larry situation. I think it's. I, so I think now he's just like, I will, I'm not saying a thing. I don't I, want it. I think it's absolutely... You think it's intentional? No, I think it's really funny. Because he gets to go to sleep every night and be like, Olivia is like probably rolling and taking a drink and like, oh, fuck, like I'm again in the media. Like James Corden's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. he's just skipping around in his say, bell, bell-bottom jeans. Just like, I love these people? Yeah, maybe sticking up for his friends would be... Of interest. I don't think I would do that. I mean, I wouldn't either. Yeah. Just something to think about. I just think it's interesting that, uh, I don't know, all this stuff. Like, I wonder if Jason Sudeikis would fight Harry Styles if they had, like... Yes. You think? Uh, Not to be like, oh, I've heard this and this this, and this about this person. Also heard horrid things about Jason. Yeah. Horrid. From people that have worked. Oh, that's, oh yeah, I heard, I heard that. Too. Yeah. That sucks. Like, this one sucks, and I'm actually going to choose to ignore it. With Jason? Mm-hmm. Oh, I I think just like bad news, bears. Yeah. Well, Jason, apparently, I don't know if everyone saw these texts too, from the nanny to, or no, from the nanny, from the Jason nanny, to the nanny. Yeah. Who was, by the way, doing a tell-all. On the, Daily Mail. The, the, <laughs> on Daily Mail. The only place that we get our news is Snapchat Discover page and Daily Mail. Ex nanny tells how Smith and Olivia Wilde broke up with devastated Jason Sudeikis just weeks after she began filming "Don't Worry, Darling" with Harry Styles and Palm Springs. How was the nanny not scared shitless about the trouble that she's going to get in? I'm telling I'm you, I'm scared to say anything on this podcast, <laughs> which, compared to the Daily Mail, not a lot of people listen to. Not to put us down at all. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know, like... But we didn't sign an NDA to live with a family of a No, I'm just saying she, the ego on this nanny... I think she's. I think is, she maybe found safe haven in the Daily Mail. Someone at the Daily Mail high up is protecting her. But all these texts are... She leaked all her texts with Olivia and with Jason, I yeah. guess, but... I'm just like I the only really one that really fazed me. I mean, the I one, just saw that, the Jason with the the one that really thing. fazed me is when Jason was like, Olivia left the kids alone. To be with Harry. And to make it worse, to make matters worse, she took the salad dressing. <laughs> That's the one that I think is She like, left. This is from Jason. She left. She just left. Nanny. I don't get it. Before bed? Jason. She left them wide awake, sitting in Daisy's bed after shaming. Is this Ryan Murphy writing this <laughs> script? After shaming me for not going to Kansas and not wearing a mask. Yes. Redacted. They're wide awake. I'm in shock. This is crazy. She just left them. Nanny, I'll come put Daisy down. Jason took her salad and dressing (laughs) and left them. I'm so sorry. Are you actually here? Nanny, that's okay. It's just like the icing on the cake on top of leaving the kids alone is the salad. Not only the salad, the the dressing dressing as well. I think that maybe this dressing was like something that they they had co-created and it was like their thing and she's like... It's like the Here. ultimate stab in the back. Or do you think that it's a euphemism? Well, that's what people are saying, that it's kind of like Taylor's scarf and all too well. Took her salad. What does the salad dressing represent? And dressing. I genuinely think she went on some cooking show a few years ago and was like, this is the salad dressing I use in love. I think they're referring to that, to be quite honest. I don't know. I saw that it's on Dumois as well. Yeah. I think you sent that to me. but um, All I know is, personally, mark, mark my words, salad dressing is about to be like, the new like everyone's gonna start making jokes about it it's gonna become the biggest meme it's gonna be the new like i don't want to see anything about the salad dressing anymore okay no i i'm just saying that people are gonna start getting really frustrated about seeing salad dressing everywhere really soon it's kind of gonna be like the adam levine memes you're gonna be like when will it end that was mark my words the day that the next dude cheated on his wife that we got to shift our focus to was the best day of my life because that I, i couldn't do the that body is fucking absurd. Yeah. One more of those. I'm so glad we didn't make that edit that you and I were working on oh. for like 10 minutes. Mark my words. The salad dressing is going to become that kind of meme. Well, I personally, this is, I don't give a shit. And 
I, I f- this nanny's pretty badass. Like, I, let's get the nanny on the pod, personally. Oh. I feel like I'm kind of anti-nanny. I'm anti, you know why? I'll tell you why I'm why? anti-nanny. The nanny was a great no, show. No, no, no. My favorite Brand show. Drescher. By the way, guess who I'm being for Halloween? Could it be? Maybe. The nanny, Fran Drescher? Maybe. I don't know. She's still at it. She's still being she Fran. She looks better than yeah. ever. Have you seen her recently? That oh, I feel like I sent. I maybe send you her her posts, but what was I talking about? I don't know. Oh, oh I'll tell you exactly why I'm anti-nanny. As somebody who worked in child care, yeah. I am only caring about the kids, to be, to be quite frank. Yeah. You are contributing to making these kids' lives more of a mess blowing up their personal lives yeah no i agree so i can't stand unfortunately i think do you think she got paid to release that stuff i think she got paid to release it but i can't imagine she got paid more than breaking the nda was worth one lawyer against jason yeah. sudeikis and olivia wilde i can't even imagine i'm i i i'm anti-nanny in this situation yeah no i'm not anti all nannies well i was just Allowing you to clear that up so that <laughs> that's my, the nanny, that's my favorite the, show. The nanny battalion didn't come at your throat. Um, t- to be frank, I have to pee, pee. so bad yeah. that it's like becoming like a medical life threatening. Well, emergency. why don't you go pee and I'll wrap up here? Well, I don't want you to wrap up with that. Do you feel confident wrapping up without me? I'm just going to remind everybody that we have bonus content coming up right now. Okay, and I think in the bonus, we didn't get to anything we wanted to talk about, like, in, at all. So maybe we could unpack. Uh, oh, look, there's con. That's what I want our merch to be, by the way. <laughs> Is you in those, what are they called, lamb balls? Yeah. <laughs> Bear paws. Bear paws. Um, yeah, anyway. I am going to pee. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, my, my- God. Someone's using my credit card. Really? Damn. They've called me three times. Domino's in Ohio. Damn. It's going to a good cause, at least. Well. So you wrap up here. Everyone feel free to join us in the bonus episode. McDonald's in Ohio as well. Connor's going to get this sorted out. They're hungry. I'm having. Morning. That is not me. Guys, we're going to continue talking in the bonus episode. But before I leave you, I want everyone to take this time. Feel the space around you. Feel the, if you're sitting, feel, feel the chair on your butt cheeks and back. If you're walking, feel the gr- take your shoes off. Feel the ground, unless you're in New York or somewhere like that. Because you would get athlete's foot or tetanus. But take a deep breath in with me. Oh, sorry, I'm congested. I breathe through my mouth. Hold it. Unless you're driving, don't hold it. Then you might pass out. <sighs> that was good. Um, okay, thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. If you have not signed up for bonus stuff, tmgstudios.tv, Broken Connor tier, $6 a month. Um, I don't know the entire studio tier price, but it's it's totally doable and you would get content out the waz. So suggest that. And then um, if you want to be on the close friends list, you can on Instagram, you can get on the tmgstudios.tv, click on our, well, you have to sign up and then sign up in the description below for that. And we'll add your, it should be up before the next episode airs. And then we'll be posting again at the Waz on the close friends. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Thank you. We'll see you in the bonus. Cheers. Cheers. This week on Close Friends. We are going to make a BuzzFeed quiz that will tell you, yeah. are you more like B or are more you more like, like C? C? Are you on airplane you, mode? No, I'm on, I'm on a- in your, in your, a- anal in mode. In your bugs. Tit twitching? Tit twitching? Is it Izzy? Titty streamers? Titty streaming. Do you know that's a thing on Twitch? Your mom. Sign up on tmgstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.